Hi everybody, today we're going to be learning about how to do SAN broadcasting. Only a little one, we're going to just uh, tell you a few little hints and tips that people usually come to me and say, Oh, how do I do this? It doesn't work. Now, how to configure your voice effects, which is something that people usually get quite confused about. This is your voice effects here. This is what you'll be seeing uh, on screen this is what you use to configure your voice so that you can speak and talk over uh, your music so to do that you click on configure which gives you a few different settings to play with if you're going to be using your um, a headset a microphone like I have then what you need to do is use encoders recorder pipeline skip output like I have here now obviously this will look different from computer com to computer but I use a headset so I have chosen microphone which is my Plantronics GameCon 780 now you want to make your voice as good as you can for when you're out there so usually with a, a when you've got your microphone set up on your sound card I would push that out at about 70 on your levels but for your buffer settings so that people can hear you properly and it sounds okay when you're on air have it set up for a maximum latency of 140 milliseconds and you achieve this by um, moving your packet from your buffer settings up from, from uh, 3 up to 7 and then from your packet time which is usually 5 you put it up to 20 so that you can get yeah so you can get 140 milliseconds which is great for speech okay you want to automatically fade out the music and which is what you want when you want to speak over the top I usually set this up for 61% of the level if you have it too high then all people can hear is the music with you just slightly underneath but you want to be over the top of it so 61% is absolutely perfect um, your time for your music fade out should be one second music fade in should be between 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 and obviously you just adjust that with the time setting so that's that next up you want to have a, a little look at uh, the encoders how do I set up an encoder well you can see I've already got one set up here but to set up an encoder you would go to actually I'm going to just click open that one so you can see what it's all about okay so when you're given your information by your internet provider or other your stream provider they will say you've got to have it at a certain um, format so mostly people give 128 kilobytes per second because that is an industry standard and you'll have that if you're listening to digital radio uh, RDS signals that's usually at 128 kilobytes that's what they like uh, you know you've got two on SAM you can either have 128 kilobytes at 48 or at 44 I have it at 48 because it's slightly higher and it's nicer for people to listen to leave this exactly where it is if you're doing scripts like you're giving requests out from a, a website then you click allow scripts into the stream for your server details this is quite important have it up set up for how you want it you've got shoutcast live 365 icecast if you're on an icecast server and no server but that's one you don't want so obviously if you're going to have a shoutcast one it's clicked up gives you your server ip so mine's that streams are us org server port blah 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 password not telling you and then here you can put your what you like to call yourself on SL or whatever you're doing um, your genre obviously different things like various world music if you've got a website to promote yourself on you'd stick that in there if you've got an ICQ you'd put it in there same with AIM and that's that and now a stream archive this is a third thing is if you were going to do say a test broadcast for somebody you would click save stream to file click and then it tells you gives you basically how long um, you can actually get that to just be 
all the time, you know, like overwrite for each session, resume, new file. I would do pretty much leave it where it is, a new file for each session, unless you just want that. In other words, you do it that way. And this will tell you where it's going to be at the moment. It's kind of, you don't know where it's going to be, but you can choose that by clicking on the browse menu and put it where you want it. I'm not going to put it in the height of fashion, good band by the way. Click off that. But you basically can click on there and tell it where you want to store the MP3 that you're recording. So I'm going to just unclick that because I don't want to do that. It takes up a bit of um, memory. So click and let's see what else can we teach you while I'm here. Oh yeah, if you've got sound effects, like if you've got jingles that you want to use, then you can use sound effects. On some versions of the sound, for some reason, it doesn't work very well. But... Um, don't know what it is, I think it's a bug issue with Sam, but not to worry, that's probably been an, uh, ironed out now with this little thing called uh, Sam Broadcaster 2013. Voice tracking is quite interesting, if you want it to sound live but actually you weren't, then you can pre-record your voices, slot them into your playlist, which is up here, or yes, or here, but actually that's your cue for your playlist, haha. -ha. Uh, and then that way it looks like you're actually there, but of course you're not. Okay, so what else is there to quickly teach you? Yeah, best idea that I can give you, or best advice that I can give you, is when you're doing your programs, make sure that you've got your statistic relay set up the same as your encoder, and you have your in event log showing. This is in case you're ever on uh, doing a program, and people are saying, oh, my sound keeps dropping out. This way you can come back in here, see what's going on. Now sometimes on SL in particular, you will find that it's dropped out because your internet broadband is not fast enough to keep up with what you're streaming. So you get under buffer and, it, and you'll find it here because it will just say, sorry, I've got to catch up or words to those effect. I, I can't actually obviously um, give you an example of this because... I can't. <laughs> uh, simple as that. So, what else is there to do? Now, obviously, if you want to DJ, uh, there's three ways of doing that. You can have auto DJ, whereby you just have the music playing, but I would advise against that uh, unless you're just having like a running stream in the background, um, like, I don't know, maybe an hour before you're set or whatever. If you're doing that kind of thing in the club, you can just have it going whatever way you want. Um, play cue. So obviously if you put a queue into your queue that will just play those until that's over and then stops it doesn't stop the stream by the way though I believe you can teach that to drop off not quite sure how you do that because I don't know everything about everything to do with Sam I just know what I like to, to use it for you can actually um, use it pretty much like um, you would if you were using uh, let's see a program like DJ to go or rather VDJ DJ where you can do all your mixing you can mix with Sam but uh, I've never tried it to be honest uh, I'm quite happy with it doing what it does for me it's perfect if I wanted to do mixing then I'll go and use something like VDJ with my Newmark DJ to go controller and then I can quite happily mix and mix right um, obviously for here that can that will tell you how many people your statistic relay will tell you about how many people are on obviously there's none on mine at the moment but uh, note to worry also you have a statistic relay down here which will tell you how many people were on at a st any given time so you could work out from that where you know like uh, when's the best time to actually broadcast for some people if you were doing anything outside of SL, I'm going to move that around now because actually I quite like having that over there, so it's quite cool. And hopefully that has kind of shown you how to do a little bit of everything for Sam. Anything else you want to know, please let me uh, know by just sending me an IM or at my email address, brainfrozen at live.co.uk. And that's that for this tutorial. Thank you all.